Hey YouTube, it's uh, Michael C. And uh, today I wanted to discuss some uh, different tips and tricks for uh, Vera Superbug navigation. And uh, I just wanted to start out on the navigation screen. And on the navigation screen, I know it's night time, so uh, forgive me for the surrounding, but I just came back. I'm returning to the carrier from an actual mission that I created. And uh, basically, this is the autopilot screen, and you have uh, belt, perimeter, altitude hold, which is determined by your uh, bar perimeter uh, code. Right now it's uh, 299 or uh, 9. And once you click this, it'll keep the altitude based on your perimeter altitude. Uh, then we have the roll here. This is really good, for example, if you want to uh, keep your uh, surrounding location. For example, say you have a target location right here, and you want to turn your aircraft. You want to select roll, and it'll hold your roll so you can orbit around that location. Uh, for example, if, it, if you were uh, doing CAS or SEED and you wanted to keep an eye on the location which you were doing. Then you have the G-Track which is another form of uh, holding a heading location. For example, if I wanted to keep a heading of 180 on the G-Track, it would, uh, the G-Select would turn to that heading or if I wanted to go by conventional heading 180, I can select that as well. Uh, you can change from magnitudinal heading and uh, track heading from true heading from the data menu of the HSI true and magnitude you can change from there and it'll also correspond with the heading indication on your heads up display it'll say right there once that's done you get to click back onto the HSI and uh, I'll continue on with my flight plan but overall, that's pretty much part of the autopilot procedure. Now, as you can see, I had the FPAW selected flight path hold. So basically, this will currently hold any flight path that I'm on. For example, I decided to turn to uh, waypoint 2. It's already holding that. And I'm not touching the throttle, um, uh, the joystick right now. So basically, if I turn back to the heading, it'll keep a firm and steady hold on that heading that I'm going to. And this is really helpful inside formation uh, when you're trying to keep steady on the formation. It'll, this is, flight path hold is basically one of the best things about the Subaru because it's a fly-by-wire system that uh, is not really seen in any other FSX aircraft. Uh, there's one more form of uh, autopilot that I can show to you right now which is only uh, useful under 8,000 feet is the radar out. So you'll see R out over here and basically that's only if you are underneath 8,000 feet for the radar altitude to work. For example, if you're doing a low pass run and you have a lot of mountainous regions and you want to stay absolutely about 5,000 feet above the ground, even if the ground uh, vacillates in terrain, you will still stay 5,000 feet from the ground. Even if the tr if you even if you go over a mountain, you'll see the aircraft climbing to stay at least 5,000 feet on the, off the ground, and that's conditional. And it, it uh, all altitudes from zero to 8,000 feet, and uh, you also uh, it would you can't type in the altitude that you want to actually configure. And here you have to actually be at that altitude. For example, I'm at Bald Hold at 16,000 feet roughly. And that's pretty much a good idea of how uh, the autopilot works. And uh, there's also C select here, which would you would see, for example, if you have a flight plan and you want to get to a certain location, you can do C select. If I select WPT as waypoint and I select uh, CPL sequence, it'll go straight to that waypoint. Hopefully this helped you out. This is just a preview of everything that goes on inside the Superbugs uh, autopilot.